G'day guys, just never know what's going to come through the door. Um, this is the biggest national cash register I think I've ever, ever got. Um, it's got its amount purchased, we have to do something with that. Obviously we're going to clean the whole thing up, but it, it is amazing. It's still working and listen, listen when it goes. If we push down A, top drawer comes out, uh, set them out. Uh oh, it's stuck again. How did you pull it? I pulled it as you wound it. Yep, okay, so it needs a bit of love yet, but push in B. Different bell. There's oh. money in that one. Oh, money. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, once we give it a good clean and a service, we'll have it out for sale. But I've never had one this big. It's actually. It's huge. Look, look, look how big it is compared to me. And it's bloody heavy. So, but we'll, uh, we'll start on it as soon as possible, won't we? Add it to the line. Add it to the line of things, yeah. Am I on? Hi guys. Um, a couple of weeks ago we showed you a national cash register that we, we picked up. It was a bit rough, painted silver. We thought it was nickel plated, but it was actually silver, so we've, we've gone ahead and stripped it all off. We've basically pulled it to bits, we've gone inside, cleaned it all out, got it all working, cleaned the inside, uh, repolished the base, and got everything working. We've got keys that run it, all the mechanisms on, on the front work. Both, all, all this works fantastic. The, um, everything's still original, all the glass is still original in it. We left the marble, even though it's got a crack, because it's all original. It's, uh, I've never had one before, and most people I've talked to have never seen one like this before. So they are really, really uncommon thing to find. It even has, it's got keys to lock it off, it has um, mechanisms that tell you how many times the back's been opened. I obviously didn't trust people in the 1800s. Then as we were doing the paper roll we discovered that it, it had its name stamp on it which is Harry Hooper's which is a cash grocer from Geelong started in Melbourne in the mid 1800s. It was down in Geelong by, by the turn of the century. It would have been say two girls running the till. One has one, has one till, one has the other. Um, comes up, B comes out, paid. We did find a thrippence in there. We're going to be giggling now. Um, we think it's come up fantastic. We can't find another one really in the country in this sort of condition. First in best dressed, I think, don't you, Joe? 